let's see css positioning so if you don't give any positioning then html has a normal flow one element after the other it will be positioned in wherever in the web page it will be showing one element after the other if you don't give any positioning but if you want an element to be positioned at a particular position then you can use position <coughs> property okay so for example what are the let's see what are the different types of positioning one is static relative absolute fixed so these are the different types of positioning we have available we we have so for example you are going to write like this position property is going to be given an attribute relative then this is called relative positioning so we will see that with example <clears throat> so if you don't give anything then there is there everything is in static so you don't have to give static specifically by default html follows static so if you give static also you cannot position you cannot change the positions so static is basically useless so even if you give static you cannot move the position of the element so static we don't use it now relative now relative means i will just explain you relative means if an element has to be positioned here now if i use relative positioning then relative to this point the element will be positioned for example if i give top 50 which means it will move 50 down and if i give left 50 it will move 50 left therefore the element will appear here okay so where it is supposed to be relative to where it is supposed to be the element is going to move based on what you have given in the top and left at bottom and right okay let's see an example for this you will understand it so here if you observe it <clears throat> this is a html uh, file so inside the html file we have done internal styling so we have two divisions two div elements here is a div element and here is a div element and the first div element is having a class called first and the second div element is having a class called second and the content of the div is just simply numbers one and two now we are applying styling to them so 100 pixel by 100 pixel is the size of it size of the div so you can see that 100 by 100 is the size and the background is given as tomato so this is the tomato color and then top margin is given as 10 pixel so therefore you are going to get some margin here okay top margin is 10 pixel and text alignment is center that is why 1 and 2 are appearing in the center and then the we have given some border so that you can clearly see it so why did we do it is because if i don't do all this styling you will not understand where div element is that will not be visible even if it moves you will not be seeing it now what i will do is i will apply relative positioning to first div so this part i will apply relative positioning now from top it will be pushed 50 pixel down and from left it will be pushed 50 pixel right okay so relative to this point the top left corner of this element this movement will happen okay and now let's let's give it let's give position relative now you can see that the element is moved here now one more important thing about relative positioning is when the element is moved here even though we are getting space the bottom element is not moving up but in other positionings we will see that the bottom element will move up and cover it and the next thing that you might observe here is z index is given as one okay so what does it mean is the z index will actually decide whether this one will come on top or second one will come on top now since z index is given as one the first the first div is coming on top now if you give minus one 
the second one has come on top which means on the z-axis what is the positioning okay so whenever two elements are overlapping if you want some element to appear on top give z index as any number maybe not just one hundred also you can give thousand also you can give but if you give positive values that element will move top and if you give negative values that element will go go to the go below okay now let's see absolute positioning so the element is removed so the element is removed from the normal document flow which means wherever the element is supposed to be from that it will be removed and then no space is created for the element in the page layout which means for example this is the page okay and then this is where the element is supposed to be now if you use absolute positioning the element will move out to whatever position you specify and whatever the elements are below it they will take its position they will come to the top which means there will be no space left here that is the meaning of it and now the second thing is the element is positioned relative to its closest position ancestor or to the initial containing block so what it means is now let us say there is a div we will anyway show the example and inside the div there is a div now we have given positioning to this div you have to give positioning to the parent otherwise nothing will happen okay so let us say positioning is given to this div and now positioning is given to it now what happens is assume that the outer div is like this then relative to this point the positioning of the outer div the inner div will move relative to this point it will move to the right it will move to the it will move down anything will happen relative to this in case in case if there is no parent then whatever is the containing block which means on the screen it will take the uh, leftmost position top left and it will move okay and then the final position is determined by top right bottom and left we will see example for this then you will understand it now let us let us say that we have two divs here div1 and div2 and uh, <clears throat> one is in class first and other is in class second so two divs are created and we have styled it we have styled it in such a way that margin is there color is there so that you will be able to see the div now let us say for the first one for this one we are applying position absolute and we are moving it 50 50 from the top and from the left then see what happens now one has been moved 50 50 and two has gone up can you again do it now this is initial before applying the positioning now let's apply the positioning absolute positioning then one has moved here and two has gone there okay so by default whatever element has moved that will be on the top but if you don't want it you can use uh, that uh, z index okay so i hope you understood it so one has moved from its position and there is no gap there is no space two has taken its position so that is why there is no space now let's see one more example where there is a parent element and now it will move relative to the parents element okay now let us see that example show the preview so we have outer div called parent this is the outer div called parent and then we have inner div called first so which has a class first and this is the one which is inside the outer one so look at its positioning from the top left it is positioned in the alignment okay and then two is here so we have one div second div and the parent okay now let's give positioning to the parent if you don't give positioning to the parent it will not work so the ancestor which is closest which has a position then only our positioning is going to work okay so let's give relative position to parent 
So parent has moved here. It is relative. That is why this is not moving up. Now, if you give absolute positioning to one, let's give absolute positioning to one. Then you can see that relative to this point, this has moved. Okay, that is the meaning of it. So that is the meaning of absolute. Thank you. Now let's see fixed positioning. So in fixed position, what will happen is the element is removed from its normal document flow, which means wherever it is supposed to be, it will be removed from there and it will be kept where you have given the top, left, bottom, right, all those. Okay. Based on that, it will be moved. Now, after it is moved, then there will be space, but then that space will be covered by the other elements. Therefore, no space is created for the element in the page. So if it is moved, the other, the space is taken up. And now the element is positioned relative to its containing block. Containing block is nothing but viewport, which is nothing but the screen on which you are looking at. If this is the screen, then relative to this point, the element will be moved okay if it is supposed to be here depending on what you have given top and what you have given left the element will be moved you can also give bottom and right also okay now <clears throat> its final position is determined by what you are giving in top right bottom and left let's see an example you'll understand it so here we have three divs div one div one and first div is having one second div is having two and third div is having three if no positioning has been applied then one will appear here two will appear here and three will appear here and for all the three styling has been applied so that you can see the divs okay that is common i mean that is normal we are not showing it now what we will do here is for the second one for the second one, we are applying a position fixed. For the second one, we are applying the position fixed. Now what will happen is, second has moved out. How much did it move out? From the left, it has moved 150. And from the top, it has moved uh, 50. Relative to this point, 150. 150 and 50 it has moved now if you observe it when 2 has moved out 3 has filled the gap do it again i mean i'm comment it once so actually 1 2 and 3 should be here now 2 has been moved out okay so 2 has come out and 1 3 has come here okay so the gap is filled if you observe it the gap is filled right see that see that two has moved out gap is filled then one more thing about fixed is when you scroll down it will always remain in its position relative to the viewport according to the screen it will always be there now just scroll down the page see two is not moving generally this is used for uh, navigation bar you see navigation bar on top of the uh, this one right websites then it is actually fixed so that is fixed and everything will move around it and now if you observe it yeah if we have given the body height to be 1800 pixel so that you can scroll down so now the height of the body is 1800 pixel that is why you are scrolling up and down okay thank you